Good morning, afternoon, good evening. This morning I am attempting to do one of those images that I see trending on social media and YouTube. So I'm in a perky design space. So I hope you'll come along with me while I attempt to put my own twist on this. Well, it's really not just my own twist. I saw another lady do this uh, in Cricut Design Space and it looked easier to me than some of the other videos that I saw. So come along with me. Let's see if I can get this done. Okay, so I'm in Cricut Design Space, and I bought in my image. Uh, I got this image off uh, Creative Fabrica, and I, I uploaded it into Cricut Design Space. So this is my image. This is about five, let's do, for 5.76 by 5.86 inches. So I'm going to leave it at that size and then I'll resize it after I'm done uh, with the design. So right now, this is the image and now I'm going to put in my text. So I'm going over to text here and the words I'm typing this morning is love, your life. So I typed each word. Let's just bring it over so that you can see. I typed each word and press enter after typing each word. So let's close, see if I can close this out so we can make it there. Okay, that's better. Okay, so now I am going to adjust the height of the letters, the words, and I'm also going to adjust the line spacing right here to the top. You'll see line spacing. I'm going to decrease the spacing in between my words. There, yeah. okay. And let's see if I can find me a different font. Let's bring this over. Let's see. No superstar, no. Cricket Keystone, no. Let's try M. Let's go with impact. Okay. So we'll go with impact. Okay. So now these, these words are not lined up like I want them to the left. So I'm going to alignment and I'm going to align them to the left. So all of them are now even on the left side. So I'm now going to bring them over to my design. And if I do this correctly, I can now, I want to get my eye in there. Okay. And I'm going to, oh no, that's, no, we don't want to. Okay. Mm, it looks like it might be a little bit 
see if I can bring that in. Let's see if we can adjust these. There, okay. Let's make this a little bigger so you can see what it looks like. Once again, let's go ahead and I really wanted to get more of the letters and maybe I need to make the image just a little bit bigger. Let's see. And now bring my words over. See if that makes a difference. Well, not really. But okay, I'm going to work with this. See the height that I want this. Okay. Let's make it. Okay. So I have it about the same height of the image. So, and I still want to try and get that eye in there. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly, but we're going to find out. So let's play around with this and see, see how it turns out. So, okay, so I have my words, I have my image, and now I'm going to bring over, I'm going to grab a shape, a rectangular shape. So this is supposed to be... This is supposed to do the magic, help with the magic. So I'm going to take that and bring that over my words. Now you can unlock this uh, box, unlock it and make it more manageable to work with like that right there, right there. Okay, make sure my words are covered, okay. And I want to make sure those words are behind there. So yep, I think that works. Okay. So let's bring my words. Okay. So once again, my words are down below the image. And now I'm going to grab my image my shift key and square. And now I'm going down to the right hand corner and select slice there. So now that's sliced out several pieces there. So before I do anything else, I saw this lady, she selected the two top slices and she changed those to a color that she thought would look nice in the design. And she used that as the background for anything that did not get fully covered in the design. So let's go ahead and try that. That's good enough for me, that color. Let's see if it works. So now I'm going to take my words and my, the side of the image. So yes, yeah, so now I'm going to take my words and the side of the image that the words are going on and I'm going to hit slice again. So once again, I have pieces here that are sliced out. Okay, so now let's see if, I, if the magic uh, worked. So now I'm going to, I'm not going to delete anything. I'm going to hide what I don't need right now until I'm sure that this is correct. So I'm going to hide that piece there. And I think that piece there, and 
possibly is it this piece and that piece wow okay and there we have it we have a magic so now let's go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and i want to group those pieces there now this here let's see what this says it says that i don't know what this morning is Oh, it says low resolution. So let's see how this print how this prints out. I I don't know, but let's go ahead and highlight the image. And now I want to make this a bigger size. Right now it's at eight point four by seven point two. And oh, before I do that though, let's let's ungroup this. Okay, because, and let's move this on the side. What I want to do is put a, I'm going to put an offset around the words. So let's go ahead and create this offset. And I'm not sure. Let's see what that looks like. Let's do a. 0 0.068. Let's see what that looks like. Let's apply it. Let's do contour. Uh, oh, let's see what that did. Okay, great. It worked. Okay, so I hit all of the contours. Okay. Now I'm going to bring my image back over to there. Okay. So my offset, I made that black. Let's see what a different color looks like. Now, I guess I'll I'll stay with the black. Is that black? Yeah, I think we're going to stay with the black. Okay. So y'all, so that is how I created this trending design. So now I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Let's see how far I can go. You know, with Cricut Design Space, you can only do up to a certain size. So let's try this. This is 11 by 1 inches, but I don't want it that wide. So let's do it this way. Let's unlock that. And I only want it about 10.5 inches wide. And then I want it a little bit higher. So let's see if that works. Will they let me go to about 11, 11 inches. Okay. Right, so I'm going to attach it, flatten it, and there. Wow. So, and let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's see the design. So I was able to get my, my eyes in there. I have the forehead, the body, the words are still, maybe I could have spaced the words a little less than I did. So I'm going to redo this again and see if I can get less spacing in between the words. But that is how I came up with my design. So you all tell me what you think. If you like this, um, if you like this recording please tell me what you think about it tell me if you think there's something else that could be done with it um 
But yeah, but I like it. I decided uh, to give it a try, and I think it turned out pretty good. So I'm going to print this out, and I'm going to put this on my sublimation shirt. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And please uh, share the video. Maybe someone else can uh, benefit from it. But I thank you for taking the time to come and visit my channel. And may God bless you all. And you all have a good day. Thank you.